Good morning and welcome to our webinar. Today is the kickoff of our webinar series about Shopware 6. Max Bischer, Key Account Manager at Shopware, is sitting next to me and he's ready uh, to give you an overview of Shopware 6. In case of any questions, please feel free to use the Q&A tool of Zoom. At the end of the webinar, uh, we will try to answer as many questions as possible. Just to let you know who's speaking right now, my name is Raphael and as Knowledge Manager, I'm responsible for spreading our knowledge around the world. And so I'm also responsible for the webinars. That's it so far. Max, the stage is yours. Thank you, Raphael. Today I'm going to give you a brief overview about Shopware 6. So let's start with getting to know each other. My name is Max and I'm Key Account Manager at Shopware. My job is it to help agencies that can help you to integrate our software as uh, much as possible. I'm working at Shopware since 2017 and I'm mostly responsible for the UK market. We as Shopware. So I would like to first introduce uh, Shopware as a company with a, with a few figures. So let's start with that. Shopware is in the market for 19 years. So for nearly two decades, we are in the e-commerce industry, which gives us a lot of experience in this market. We have around about 200 employees here in our headquarter in Germany, and we want to scale this number up even further. We, we build a new so-called Shopware Tower here. So everything from sales, marketing, development is taking place here in our headquarter in Germany. We have around about 1,500 partners that differentiate between agency partners and technology partners. So agency partners, as I said, are there to help you to integrate our software within your IT infrastructure. Also, they can help you with their brand, with your brand strategy. Then we have on the other side tech partners that are technologies that you need in your ecosystem to maybe ship products, to take care of the payment. So they are mostly payment service providers, shipment providers email marketing providers, but I will go in more detail on that in a slide later on. We have over 100,000 customers that should show you that we have a huge community. Of course, we started here in Germany, but we get more and more international customers. So we invest highly in our international community. Therefore, we also started this webinar series and we want to scale this number, of course, up even further. I don't want to bore you too much with figures, but I bought a few key figures now that should show you different things. For example, our turnover growth rate. That should show you that we are a healthy company, and despite all the investments that we make, we have a steady turnover growth rate of 40%. A number that is very special in our industry is the 100% equity ratio. So the two founders have um, equal share about the company, and we can decide where we want to develop our software in the future. So if we think the market needs a different function or different functionalities in the future, we can straight develop that without going to investors. So there's no shareholder value problem. This number is, is very impressive as well. We have 6 billion online turnover from all Shopware shops combined in 2018. So that should show you that with Shopware, you can sell your products successfully online. 20% of our annual sales go into research and development, which should show that we, are, that we want to push innovations even forward. So as this number said, 20% goes in research and development so that we can test out new technologies, find out a successful way for the future and can support all the technologies that you maybe need in the future. 20% earnings before interest in taxes, that should only show you that we are a healthy company and we are going to be here for for not only one more year, for five, 10, 20 more years, for decades. So we are a healthy company. If you go with Shopware, you see these numbers and you see that, that we are going to, to be here for the future as well. Our vision. Now I want to give you an overview about the platform Shopware and our vision with Shopware 6. When we developed Shopware 6, we thought, how would the e-commerce look like in the future? And we found this graph that was very interesting to us. So this graph shows first the world population, which is very linear. So at the moment, we are around about 8 billion people on this planet. When I'm going to compare this to the amount of Internet of Things devices, so connected devices that are out there, you can see that this line is exponentially. And there are nearly 27 billion Internet of Things devices out there in 2020, according to Intel. 
So if we break that down, there are 26 devices per person. And that are not only the obvious ones, like smartphones or computers, that is nearly everything. Our, our watches are smart. Smart home is a big topic out there. Of course, voice commerce and um, voice assistants are a big topic out there. Connected cars um, along gaming consoles, everything nowadays is connected to the internet. So we see that there are a huge amount of new technologies out there. But there's one thing where we think it will never change. A constant in this world that will, um, that will decide which technology will make it through the market. And that's we as human. So we as human decide which technology will make it through the market. There can be, you can support as an e-commerce, uh, as, as an online shop retailer, you can support as many technologies as you want, but we as human will decide which technology will make it through the market. And for us at Shopware, growth is based on outstanding customer experience. So our new platform mainly consists of three pillars. Individuality, so that each customer in your online shop or in general where, where they find you have an individual experience. It's not only about the individual experience, also individual products are a huge topic. Experience. The experience should be unique and it should be easy for you to create this unique experience. And with all the, the new technology and more complex business models, it should also be all about automation. So it should be easy to automate, easy to use. You don't want to spend a huge amount of time in the administration area, try to figure out where everything, where you have to set up everything. It should be easy and automated. So I just want to give you a few examples where you can use our new platform. For example, in a pop-up store where you have large point of sale displays, where the customer on the one hand can experience the, the physical product, like in this case, the ice, and on the large point of sale display, they can browse through all the recipes, all the products, and that's the first touch point with the customer to shopware. So the point of sale display runs shopware and it's shopping experiences, it, it's CMS module. Also later on, when um, the customer has this eyes from this pop-up shop, you will go to Instagram and maybe post it with a certain hashtag. And then they find, and then the customer finds the company again. And maybe the ice making machine that was presented in the pop-up store. So then the customer could instantly buy it from Instagram, for example. Also, we have different B2B use cases, for example, a warehouse with the sensors that detects that the product is missing and automatically orders it from your B2B platform. These are just a few examples how you can sell with the shopware where your community already is. So for example, on Instagram or in a pop-up store or other examples. So shopware is in general an API first product. What does that mean for you? So we have a slim core that has key components, that has the key components of e-commerce and everything else is going to be connected. So it's all about more flexibility with less, less complexity in one technology. So as I told you, it's the shop by core consists of an API first module. So for example, there's the core and as I said, it has the key components of an e-commerce platform. Then you can attach to that our new brand new administration or more storefronts and sales channels. I will talk about that in more detail later. And of course the ecosystem, the technology providers that you need in certain markets. Everything can be easily connected via our open REST API to the core of Shopware. Alongside your IT infrastructure like ERP systems, product information systems, and everything else that you're using. Of course, this is an international webinar, so we want to give you an overview of the internationalization in Shopware as well. So there are a few key things that you need to sell board. For example, translation workflows. As you later see in the administration area, we try to make it as easy as possible to add more translations to your products. Also taxes, there are different tax situations in different countries, and we offer you on the one hand, together with tech partners, on the other hand, in our administration area, easy workflows to, to build up these taxes for different products in different countries. Sales channels. These are a key component. This is a key component in Shopware as well. 
So for us, a sales channel is, for example, a web shop for each country. So you can build up as much sales channels for all the countries in, for example, Europe, and you can combine that with a different set of product and a different set of prices. And these prices you can um, create based on, on a rule ba based, based on a rule system. It's called Rule Builder. So you can put in these rules th so that the e-commerce platform knows when it has to use which prices under which conditions. I will explain that in more detail later as well. And also, last but not least, legal issues. Of course, there are different legal situations in different countries, and we try to cover you there as much as we can with key components within the software and also together with technology partners. And everything is going to be integrated in the core of Shopware. Delighters. Delighters are for us key functionalities within the software that we want to present you now and in the upcoming webinars. Of course, our brand new administration. It's developed especially on, on merchants and retailers' feedback. It has a consistent UX. It's easy to extend. It's easy to automate. It's visibility quicker on all devices. And it's based on Vue.js. Shopware in general is full stack symphony. And for the administration, we use Vue.js. So if I quickly switch into the live demo of Shopware, you can see the new administration. And I want to present you a few key functionalities. So if we go to the dashboard, of course, a key factor in, in our new administration is the search. So in the search bar, you can not only search for products, you can search for everything. So if I just type in something, you can see all the search results differentiated in the, in the different categories of the administration area. If I just want to quick search for a product, I can pre-select that, that I only want to use a product search and then type in the name. And I only see the products, for example. So we heard from merchants that the search is some, something they use very often in, in the administration area. So we try to make it a key feature in Shopware. On the left-hand side, you can see the different categories and it's different colors. And if you want to use, for example, the product section in a different tab, you can automatically see by the, the icon on, in the browser in which section you are working here. So you can work across different tabs in different sections of, of the online shop. Also, you have, of course, different functionalities here. And um, with the automation I mentioned, the administration area knows where you're working in the most and will highlight these here as well. Also, there can be different persons from, from your company working in the administration area, so you can give them different roles and rights. So for example, the marketing people can only work in the content section, as one example. Another key feature is the rule builder I already mentioned. It is a what you see is what you get for business models. So with workflows and rules and conditions, you can build, um, you have endless possibilities here. So a customer or in general, you can create a rule for, for shipment, for promotions, for nearly everything. And based on that, it automatically gives out the customer the the um, perfect shipment method or the, the price that the customer should have. So it's, a glo it's globally applicable in Shopware. And if I switch again in the demo, I just want to give you a quick example of the rule builder. So in this tab, I'm already in the rule builder and I already created a rule. For example, new customers should be have 10% off of all orders in their shopping cart. So I have to give it an internal name, a priority. So if there are different rules that you want to use, um, it already knows which has the highest priority and will use that rule. And then I can build the actual rule down here. So I've selected count of orders should be equal to zero. So he hasn't ordered before and he is a new customer to us. Then I can use that rule in the promotion section here. So I just quickly created a promotion, 10% off for new customers. I added the sales channel, which should be our main shop. And of course, a date. And everything should be in here as well. And under conditions, I can use the rule here. So this is, this is the rule I created, 10% off for new customers. And I also can, create and can put in the discount here. And if I go to the storefront of this demo shop, I should be already logged in. And if I add some, something to the shopping cart, you can instantly see the discount here. So I get 10% I get off of this ice making machine right now as a new customer.
This, in summary, is the rule builder. The rule builder is going to be presented in more detail in one of the upcoming webinars. Shopping experiences. At Shopware, it should be all about content and commerce. So it should be easy for you as the shop owner to create rich content worlds within the administration area without being a developer. So managing your content is a key factor within Shopware to build up these emotional shopping experiences to engage more with the customers. So if I quickly switch back to the demo again, I can just go to the content section, which is here, and then I can open the shopping experiences. And these CMS sites are not limited to, to content sites. It's, uh, you can also build up category pages, you can, you can build up uh, product pages, landing pages, everything. So if I just, for example, open this landing page, you see you have a few functionalities here. You could edit the text already. So we have rich text editing functionalities here. And you can, for example, switch the picture here. Or you could also swap the whole item so that we want to present a product here, which you could select. If you want to add a new layer, you can just add, as we call it, a new block. So if we want to have a new image here, we can just via drag and drop, put it underneath. And the good thing about this, it automatically knows how to rearrange if it goes from, from a desktop perspective to a mobile tablet landscape perspective or to a mobile device. So you do not have to worry if it looks good on any device, it automatically looks good on any device. We also have for um, people that only want to edit the, the text content, a special overview where you only can edit the text, images, and products. This is just a brief overview about the shopping experiences. There's going to be a webinar called Content and Commerce with Shopware 6, where we go more in detail about the shopping experiences. The sales channels I've already mentioned. For us, every place where you sell is a sales channel. Whether it's the social media integration, a POS integration, an integration into services like mobile apps or um, other integrations into IoT devices or sub and language shops. So it's easy to build up these sales channels for different countries. So an international rollout should be no problem with Shopware. You can attach to each sales channel a different set of products with a different set of prices and of course shipping and payment methods. So if you only want to um, get in contact with your younger generation on Instagram, you can select the set of products that is maybe um, their favorite for the Instagram sales channel. Or you can build up different promotions based on different sales channels. We will go in more detail about the sales channels in the upcoming webinar, How to Grow Your Online Business with Shopware 6. The ecosystem. Of course, there's kind of like a baseline expectation that you have certain technology partners that you use, and of course, they should be integrated into Shopware, or at least should be easy to integrate into Shopware. So for the ecosystem, of course, we have different technology partners, like for the ERP side, we have Accentral or Actindo. Then for the email marketing side, we have key partners, also for, for legal issues and personalization, alongside shipment and payment. Of course, there are just a few names to, to display to you that, that we have a huge ecosystem. And that consists not only technology partners, there are also over three and a half K plugins on our marketplace, on our community store. There you can find feature extinctions alongside connections to technology partners and anything else all around Shopware. PayPal is already pre-installed into Shopware 6. And in general, the plugins are easy to manage via the plugin manager in the administration area. Also, we have, in general, a quickly expanding ecosystem, and there are a huge amount of plugins in development for Shopper 6, as, you can, as I am going to show you later on. Our roadmap. One key advantage from, from being um, self-financed is that we can display on our website where we are working on at the moment, in the near future, and in the next, in the next years. So we can present to you in detail what is uh, on our roadmap. So I will quickly switch to our website. And in the section products and roadmap, 
you can find everything we are working on right now. So for example, it's differentiated in uh, between the different editions of Shopware. And also you have each feature with a little description here. So for example, if you want to know if there's a certain feature that you need in your online shop that maybe it's not right now in Shopware 6, you can first have a look at our roadmap and see when it's planned for, for Shopware 6. Also with our issue tracker, which you can find under issues.shopware.com, you can request features that can then be voted by the community and the highest voters voted features will make it on our roadmap. So our development team is going to review feature requests on our issue tracker website weekly and the one with the, with the most votes will make it on our roadmap. So we try to work as close together with our customers and of course our agencies as possible. Another thing that I wanted to show you on our roadmap is of course our ecosystem. As I said, there are many plugins for Shopify 6 in development. So currently there are over 600 plugins in development alongside the plugins that are already in our community store. So in general, this was, was a quick overview about Shopify 6 from me. As I said, there are a few more webinars upcoming to get more in detail about all the key functionalities about Shopware. So um, yeah, I just want to thank you for listening and I'm going to, to give it back to Raphael. Okay, thank you, Max. Uh, thanks for scratching the surface. Um, at this point of time, I need to drop in before we go over to answer the questions. And I know Max already mentioned it before. Please don't forget to sign up for the following webinars as they are even more into depth and uh, less theory as this was only the kickoff. Now let's start, well, let's start with the uh, Q&A session. Um, up until now, there, there are only three questions. Um, feel free to drop some more. Um, the first one is, Max, I'm interested in checking out Shopper 6. How can I start best? So if you're already interested in Shopper 6, um, the best way to, to get your hands on it would be our website. Of course, under the product section, there's everything you need to know about Shopper 6. And here you can get a free trial about Shopper 6, uh, of Shopper 6. So there's a 30-day demo completely for free. It's the demo shop that I've shown you um, here as an example. And if you want to try it out, we will send you your personal demo shop afterwards. Okay, there's another further question. Um, the first one is, um, is there a block system in Shopware 6? Can I seamlessly transfer the uh, Shopware 5 block posts into Shopware 6? We are afraid um, that all block content that we create now must be manually transferred into Shopware 6. Um, yeah, for that we have a following webinar. It's called The Best Moment to Migrate, where we present to you how you can migrate your content from Shopware 5 to Shopware 6. But um, I don't want to leave you with that answer. Of course, you can migrate all the data from the blocks that you've created. But for example, all the styles that you created, like um, image and text arrangement, that needs to be rearranged in Shopify 6. But as you, as you have seen in the um, shopping experiences, it's really easy. So all the content you can transfer, but the design you need to, to rearrange. Okay, cool. Um, another question is, um, there were a lot of features shown in the administration. What software edition is this? Is it uh, enterprise only? Is it community edition? Most features that I've shown you are in every edition of Shopware. Of course, there are, different, there are differences between a few features, but the features I've shown you are mainly in all editions of Shopware. So if you want to know about the um, different features in different editions, you can check out our website. So again, here on the products and um, where is it? Pricing, yeah, Shopify 6, you can then find on the bottom all the features that are in the different editions. So just check out our website. Okay, according to this question, what are the limitations of the community edition? So um, just to answer that uh, very quickly, there is, um, so to say, no limit no limit for you to, to publish a shop. Um, so we don't say it's limited by customers, it's limited by products or so. Uh, you can run a live shop uh, using the community edition. Um, another question, what about marketplace in, places in Shopper 6?
uh, marketplaces. Okay, so um, as I've shown you, there are different sales channels in Shopware. And if you want to sell on famous marketplaces like Amazon, we are working on um, integrations for Amazon, as I mentioned, and Facebook and Instagram. So you can easily integrate that sales channel in your Shopper 6 online shop. And then you'll be able to sell your set of products on these sales channels as well. Okay, and the last one, um, if no further question is popping in, are there um, uh, ways for having rules based on category and products as well? For example, creating a shipping rule that only shows for certain categories of products. You can limit um, shipping methods, for example, on based on different things. For example, the sales channel, that different shipping met methods should only be shown in different sales channels. And there's also a feature that we already know from Shopify 5, which is called product streams. So with product streams, you, it's a dynamic, dynamic filter where you can filter products. So for example, all products that have a discounted price should be displayed in the sales section. And as soon as you um, put in a discounted price on a product, it will automatically be displayed in the sales section. So this already in Shopify 5 and with the rule below, it's of course possible in Shopify 6 as well. Cool, great. Um, so how can we register for the next webinars? Maybe Max, you can switch to the website again. Um, and that's also the, the final question. It's the last question we've got here. Um, it's pretty easy on our website. It's um, below knowledge and then webinars and live streams. And then you can sign up um, on the right-hand side for the upcoming webinars. Cool, thanks people for joining um, our webinar, our first um, kickoff international webinar um, of this series. I hope to see you again uh, on on um, September 12th, uh, that will be the second webinar um, of this series with the topic uh, working faster and more comfortable with Shopware 6. Um, wish you a great week and hope to see you all soon.